Okay, uh, uh, Dr. Francesca, please, if you would, if you would like to say a few words. Thank you, Christine. When we opened today's conference, I said today is one of the best days to be an African, and you all would have seen that with all the presentation and the achievement of Buddha Africa. In March of 2020, we we're just a group of researchers, health care practitioners, fine artists, statisticians. The entire world was in a kind of gloom. There was a COVID and there was a lockdown. But we were determined to give Africa a place because we had a lesson in the Ebola crisis. And today, Africa, through modern Africa, is still the one and only successful implementation of fair data in the context of COVID-19. And then after the first phase, we didn't stop. We continued and also today, we are boasting of 88 health facilities that will be able to improve healthcare management that will have access to critical data at the point of care. And Africa will be a resource of verified data on pandemic because the world will rely on us to predict next pandemic whenever that time comes. It is my pleasure to thank everyone, the members of our team, Professor Miriam, who is our global coordinator, the vice chancellor, who provides the chairmanship and overall support for us. The steering committee and the consortium made up of our partners and our funders, the technical team, the data stewards across the different universities and health facilities, the coordinating team, the country coordinators and the overall country coordinators and everyone else. We have emerged, we have evolved from a point of zero to hero as is seen today. And we shall continue to work together as a community with the support of every one of you to make sure that Africa retains this particular and important place in the verification of ethical patient data. We are in 88 facilities today in eight countries. We will continue to expand and give Africa a place. Thank you very much to everyone. And thank you, Christine, for being our big sister right from the beginning. Thank you. Oh, I am honored. And you actually answered one of the questions in the Q&A. Uh, where is there space to add new countries and health clinics? Then yes, uh, yes. definitely. <laughs> uh, with that in mind, uh, we um, ask you to watch our website. There will be a conference on May 30th. Uh, as previously mentioned, there is uh, uh, Europe City of Science for 2022 is Leiden. In the week of October 24th through 28th is the Hot Zone Week that's dedicated to FAIR and FAIR digital objects as the core machine actionable units of information uh, that are necessary to build the internet and web of FAIR data and services. Um, please, uh, please see that and register once that's available. If you'd like to take part, if you'd like to add your facility or have your country be involved, Go to the website at the bottom in the footer. You can subscribe to the newsletter. Okay, um, and with that, I I just like to um, to to say in, as a wrap up that you know the world's eyes have been on the innovations happening in Africa. The rest of us are watching to follow what you have done and to take uh, the curriculum and the architectures and to implement them elsewhere. Um, You've done what we've only dreamed of, and you've done this in the most challenging of circumstances amidst a pandemic, uh, regional tensions, internet issues, and so all of us uh, applaud all of the accomplishments that we heard about today. <laughs>